Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for another Azure and Databricks video. Today's video could be about Log Analytics workspace, how we can create one, how we can connect it to Azure Monitor, and how we can fetch the data from a Log Analytics workspace into Databricks using Python and Azure Monitor API. A Log Analytics workspace is a unique environment for log data coming from Azure Monitor and other Azure services like Microsoft Sentinel and Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Now we can query the data straight from a log analytics workspace using Custo query language, but as data engineers we prefer Python and PySpark, at least most of the time, and that's why it's better to fetch the data into a Databricks environment and then analyze this data and build our reports. Now, before we jump into the code, let's take a look on the documentation and then we will see everything that we just said. Okay, so guys, this is the official Microsoft documentation about Log Analytics Workspace. Uh, as you can see, each workspace has its own data repository and configuration, but might combine data from multiple services. So, uh, the data structure, each workspace contains multiple tables that are organized into separate columns with multiple rows of data. Each table is defined by a unique set of columns. Rows of data provided by the data source share those columns. Log queries define columns of data to retrieve and provide output to different features of Azure Monitor and other services that use workspaces. Here is the data structure, as you can see. Okay, so let's go to Azure portal. Uh, you have to read the rest of the documentation alone. Uh, I'm not an expert on Azure Log Analytics uh, workspace. Uh, actually, I just started working on a project uh, using Log Analytics workspace. So I'm a newbie as well. And that's why I suggest you read the documentation as well. So let's create a Log Analytics workspace, a new one. It's pretty simple. Click on create. Give it a second. Resource group, test example, demo, Log Analytics, Log demo Log Analytics, okay. Uh, West Europe, next. Review and create and create a Log Analytics workspace. Now, in the meantime, we want to actually create a service principal. So go into Azure Active Directory or Microsoft Entra ID. Go under Manage, click on App Registrations. Give it a second. App Registrations here. Create, a, uh, click on New Registration. Service principal demo log, come on, log, and then click on register. Let's create a new one. We would like the application client ID, so copy that. Keep it on a notebook. I'm going to keep it on a notebook. And then click on add the certificate or secret. Let's create a secret, add the new client secret, demo log, click on add, and copy the value on a notebook as well. Notebook, I mean a notepad as well. And then, so SVP underscore demo underscore log. Let's go back to the log analytics workspace now and uh, into our, the new one that we created demo underscore log dash log and then on uh, access control click on add add role assignment we want to add uh, permissions we want to grant permissions to the new service principal we just created so we can read the data from databricks using this service principal and that's why we need to grant the right privileges so uh, under role select the log analytics reader click on next 
select members, select your new service principal who you just created, select it, review and assign and grant the necessary permissions, the necessary role actually. So if you go here, you will see under Log Analytics Reader, you can see the service principal we just created. It has the role of Log Analytics Reader. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is actually connect Log Analytics Workspace with Azure Monitor. So let's go into Monitor, click on Activity Log, and here click on Export Activity Logs. Now, this is only for Activity Logs. And uh, diagnostic settings, add diagnostic setting. Let's uh, log demo administrative category and then set to log analytics workspace. Select the log analytics workspace we just created. You can send it also to uh, storage account, event hub, partner solution. So click on save. And now what we are going to do is actually go into resource groups, just delete a resource group, for example, um, test Databricks. So let me delete that, delete this resource group. Click on delete and delete it. And now all those actions will go into monitor, into activity log, and then into they will be redirected to uh, log analytics workspace right and you would be able to see those logs so if you go into your log, log analytics workspace click on logs you will have to wait a few minutes for the logs to get updated here so expand this one and under tables give it some time you will need some time so let's I will come back in a few minutes okay so after a few minutes click on logs you have uh, already made queries here for applications audit Azure monitor Azure resources you can click on run it's going to run the query so it's a very convenient way to query the data because Kusto query language is not a very typical uh, language so those uh, already made queries will help you with that so if you click here under tables under log management you will see Azure activity so if you double click on that and then run this click on run and it's going to provide you results for the last 24 hours we have to, again to wait for a few more minutes as you can see the first results are here but still we are missing the deletion action of the resource group now in the meantime let's go back to our databricks environment first you will need to install pip install the azure monitor query so do that actually let me start spin up the cluster let's wait Okay, here we are. The cluster is up and running. So we installed this library. Then we have to install Azure Identity. And here is the actual code. You will find this code on GitHub on the public uh, repo for Azure. I will provide the link in the description. So here, the only difference here is for credentials. They use the default Azure credentials from Azure Identity. I changed that and I'm using from Azure Identity the client secret credential. And I'm going to create new credentials based on tenant ID here and then client ID, the client ID we just uh, created. Let me copy and paste it that here. And then the secret that you also have on your notepad, notepad, and here, and then authority equals authority, and then you can get the token using credential dot get token and management azure.com and default, and you can access the token using token dot token, and then we create a client based on the credentials and you query the Azure Activity table, right? So if you go back now into Azure Activity table and 
run it again probably we will have more logs by yep as you can see we have more logs now this is a right operation this is a right operation this is a right this is a right again still we haven't received the deletion the resource group deletion maybe let's uh, delete another resource group actually let's uh, delete the this one delete resource group copy that paste it here but still it will take some time until we see the logs into log analytics workspace until we see this action into the azure log analytics workspace but in the meantime here uh, what we have to do here is use the client query underscore workspace here you provide the works uh, the log analytics workspace id so here if you go into uh, the original code you will see here we have log logs underscore workspace underscore id so if we go into the log analytics workspace in the overview tab you will see the workspace id so we copy that we actually paste it here and i think we are good to go so here then we get the data from the response and for table in data use uh, convert it into pandas and then we can uh, convert pandas into PySpark and run this code it's pretty simple actually so let's run it see what we get give it a second this is the token that we just printed here token token and here is the PySpark data frame you will see we have the operation name value here the level the activity status correlation id all those things caller caller ip address uh, category administrative http request which is exactly the same data that you will find in your logs here into the log analytics workspace let's see what we have now yep here if you expand this you will see operation name value level activity state to value activity substance value subscription id correlation id caller etc etc http request all those properties here that you will find also here in using this code and you can use PySpark data frame because it's easier to manipulate the data to and build reports than pandas data frame but whatever your preference is still it's uh, amazing that you can do a lot of these things here in databricks and you don't have to use custo query language which in my opinion yeah it's fine for a little bit to query the data and see the data but if you want to properly analyze the data and build reports and this kind of things then it's better to use databricks now as you can tell still we haven't seen the deletion action of the resource groups uh, you have to wait a few more minutes to see that and because it's not exactly real time it's quite fast but not real time but this is the idea this is the whole idea how you can fetch the data into databricks from a log analytics workspace and guys as i said i'm no expert on log analytics workspace i just started working with with it and I wanted to show you how you can fetch data because this is what we are actually trying to do and build reports based on those data. This is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new. It's a pretty simple and straightforward process and there is documentation, but it took me some time to put all the pieces together. And that's why I made this video to make things even simpler for you and you don't have to waste time on these kind of things. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.